Hello, bonjour. Comment ça va? Today we're talking about the differences between the virtual desktop and also the Oculus Link using VR Chat. Let's go. Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Whew. My name is Lazius K. Now, in the previous video, we spoke about the differences between the Oculus Link and the Oculus Quest using VR Chat. Link in description below. Go and check out that video. If you're already familiar with VR Chat, there is a timestamp in the description below. You can skip this step. Otherwise, VR Chat, for those who are not familiar, it's a really awesome app where basically you can go and wander in thousands of different worlds, meet tens of thousands of different people. It's not just great for the consumer, but also for companies who are looking to get into VR and promote their products and services to early adopters. You can customize avatars and environments to your heart's desire. So let's go and play a little game. Let's see if you can tell what is the difference between the virtual desktop version and the Oculus Link version. Comment below if you think this is the Oculus Link or the virtual desktop version. For those that got it right, yep, this is the Oculus Link version. And what about this one? Is this Oculus Link or virtual desktop version? If you said Oculus Link, well, I'm sorry, you would have got it wrong. This is the virtual desktop version. Just to give you some information about my hardware, I'm using an i9-700K chip by Intel, as well as an RTX 2070 card by Nvidia, GeForce, and five gigahertz Wi-Fi. If you have different kind of hardware, let us know in the comments below so that we can share this information as to the performance of VR chat using virtual desktop or perhaps even other apps with the rest of the community. And what about this one? Is this virtual desktop or the Oculus Link version? This is neither the Oculus Link nor the virtual desktop. This is actually the Oculus Quest version. And just for fun, do you think this is Oculus Quest, Oculus Link or the virtual desktop version? And this is the virtual desktop version. So as you can tell, it's pretty difficult to tell the difference between the Oculus Link and also the virtual desktop version. For the Oculus Quest, as I mentioned before, there is another video that I did. It's more easy to tell the differences because there's definitely a huge difference in graphics and performance. Now let's talk about the similarities first. Now the good news is that both for the Oculus Link and the virtual desktop version, you can actually unlock the PC-based avatars and PC environments. There is a noticeable little difference in the graphic performance between the Oculus Link and the virtual desktop. The ambient inclusion is definitely a bit better for the Oculus Link users for sure. If you're using an Oculus Quest and you're not using the Link cable, then you will also be limited in terms of the number of worlds that are available for those using the virtual desktop version. That is because they have to convert all that graphic power so that it is compatible via streaming to be then placed on the Oculus Quest. The graphic power of the world will also be dependent not just on the CPU that you have as the Oculus Quest user, but also the CPU that is used by the architect who designed that world. So if their graphic power or their machine doesn't have a really big chip, then the effects of the graphics will also be very greatly affected when you visit those worlds. So I noticed when I was trying to find some worlds, I couldn't find some of those worlds that I could seek in the Oculus Link version when I was using the virtual desktop. However, once you go inside of the virtual desktop world, some of them are really beautiful. The ambient inclusion, the lighting, the specularity, the way the fire is going, and also things like the, the gradients on shiny objects. I mean, they are really nicely done. Before I give you my final thoughts, whether it's worth getting the virtual desktop versus the Oculus Link cable, I would just like to give a quick shout out to those who commented on one of the previous videos, which was all about hand tracking on the Oculus Quest using SideQuest. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. So I have to admit that if you have the Oculus Quest, but you don't have a computer and you want to unlock more worlds in VR chat, definitely get virtual desktop because the graphic power is actually really good. Even though it's five, 10%, maybe 15 tops away from the Oculus Link graphic power, you're going to meet tons more people and also be able to navigate in a lot more worlds more freely than if you don't have virtual desktop. If however, you are someone who can enable your 
request to be linked to the computer using the Oculus Link cable, then I think since there's already only about 10% in graphics performance differences, and if you're not too bothered about unlocking every single feature in VR chat, then I definitely think getting virtual desktop is a great alternative because it doesn't really cost that much and you're gonna have a lot of flexibility within that app. Of course, enabling with the Oculus Link means you have total freedom in VR chat, being able to go to every single world. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Yeah, because that is what it's all about. All right, until next time, take it easy. DJ, as always, take it away. Woo!